Okay, today on Heavy Metal Frequency, I'm starting a series on my favorite bassist of all time, Billy Sheehan, and this is signed by Billy Sheehan. Yay. One thing I'd like to address really quickly is I've read, out of curiosity, some reviews of Holy Cow, one of my favorite album titles ever. It's great. And so one of the only negative things they say is that his Billy's singing is not it's too static to carry the whole album. I would say it has a subtle art rock vibe to it. It reminds me of David Bowie, and if David Bowie could carry his illustrious career, Black Star is an amazing album, by the way, then Billy's singing and vocalizations can do the same. So uh, I love this. I would not start here with Billy. I'd start with... David Lee Roth band, probably. He does a lot of singing and stuff on that as well. He's an amazing bassist. He's a great man. He's one of the most level-headed musicians you'll ever meet. Um, there's a lot of different genres going on here. I feel like his playing style is a hybrid of progressive metal, really traditional rock music, and jazz fusion, like jazz, funk, and blues all combined together. And it's even more interesting because he kind of started out as like an 80s glam musician. And so uh, his virtuo virtuoso playing style's excellent. I've learned his some facsimile of his two-hand tapping and three-finger bass technique. And so uh, <clears throat> this is excellent. Um, the only, not necessarily criticism, but the only comment that I could have about Holy Cow is that... Uh, the opening track, um, in a week or two, it's a little slow for an opening number, and I would switch it out with the second one. A little bit will do it to you every time. And so it's a fantastic album. They're, the bass playing's excellent. His his guitar solos are great. Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top has a uh, guest appearance on here. The drumming is by uh, Ray Luzier from Korn, and it works fine pretty much this is fantastic some of the my favorite tracks include cell towers swimming underwater um another broken promise a bloodless casualty a bloodless casualty is probably my favorite song on here and there are all kinds of neat little nuances of various artists like prince and uh there's a song that's almost like an homage to prince it's it's excellent, and so I would highly recommend this, but just ease into this with Sheehan stuff. Start with, I suggest maybe starting with David Lee Roth band. Thank you.